Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. Today in this video, we are going to see how to add Facebook leads to Mailer Light. So, I run a cosmetic products business and to market my business, I use Facebook lead ads. And here my objective is that whenever a new lead is received through Facebook lead ads, I want to add a subscriber into my Mailer Light account. For that, I'm simply going to create a connection between Facebook lead ads and Mailer Light. Public Connect works on two principles. First is trigger and second is action. Here my trigger application is Facebook lead ads and my action application is Mailer Light. To learn how to do this, let me take you to my screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Facebook leads in Mailer Light as a subscriber. So I have a cosmetic products business and to promote my business, I'm running an ad campaign on my Facebook page. And I have also created a lead gen form by using Facebook lead ads. And now I want that whenever a new lead is generated by submitting the form, then automatically that lead should be added here in Mailer Light account as a subscriber. And for that, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which will help me to automate this entire process. Now, to begin with the process, we are first going to search for pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On my right hand side, you can see two options over here, sign in and sign up free. If you're an existing user, then simply click on sign in. But if you're a new user, then please click on this tab, sign up free. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, you will also get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm simply going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. And here we have reached all Pabli application page. Now let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Now, if you want to create a folder, then simply click on this icon and create a folder. As I want to create a new folder for my new workflow, so I'm simply going to click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name the folder. So I'm going to name my folder as Facebook Leads. Now let's click on Create. And as you can see over here, we have successfully created a folder named as Facebook Leads. Now, again on the right hand side, you can see a tab named as Create Workflow. Let's click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name the workflow. So I'm going to name my workflow as Add Facebook Leads in Mailer Light. And as you can see over here, I've selected a folder named as Facebook Leads which I have created just now. By clicking on this drop down over here, you will find all the folders which you have created earlier. Now let's click on Create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got us to extremely important events. First is trigger and second is action. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of a trigger application. Now my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. And now we have to select a trigger event. This is the event which will make your workflow start. Let's click on this. And here you will find two options, new lead instant and new lead. I'm simply going to select new lead instant and it says triggers when a new lead is submitted in specified lead gen form associated to your Facebook page. Let's select this. After that, click on connect. And now to connect our Facebook lead ads account with our public connect account, we need to set up a connection. For that, I'm simply going to select add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, please select existing connection. After that, click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Then select your account and we have successfully connected our Facebook lead ads account with our Pabli Connect account. Now we have to select a page and it says please select a Facebook page. If you don't see your page listed, access your account settings to confirm that the connected account has the correct managed page permissions and then reconnect your account. Let's click on this and I have named my Facebook page as Regal Radiance. Let's search for Regal Radiance. So as we have selected our Facebook page, let's move ahead to the lead gen form. So here it says, select lead ads form here. Please ensure that your lead ads form is live else you might not receive the lead data correctly. Let's click on this and I have named my lead gen form as lead gen form. And as you can see over here, there is an important note. Please note that after clicking the save and send as button, you will need to generate a sample submission of your lead ads form by clicking on the preview form button and filling out the form. Make sure that the lead generation form is live before making the sample submission. Which means after clicking the save and send as button, we will need to generate a sample submission or it is submission. Now let's click on save and send as request. And here it says waiting for webhook response and there is a note again. Now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. And for that we are going to search for meta for developers. Let's click on this. 
and after searching for meta for developers click on this first link over here or you can directly search for developers.facebook.com i'm going to click on this and this is meta for developers page now click on more and then go to tools after that scroll it down and you will find lead ads rt debug tool make sure your api or crm integration is set up correctly and receiving data let's click on this and this is lead ads testing tool use this tool to test your api or crm integration you can create a test lead to confirm that your integration is set up to receive data correctly and now to do a test submission we have to select a page in the form name let's click on this and select a page name now before clicking on this preview form let's read this you can create one lead per form you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one so in order to create a new lead we need to delete our existing leads but as of now i do not have any lead so i'm simply going to click on this preview form and this is the form which i have created now i'm simply going to enter all the dummy details over here after that click on next and then submit and here it says your test lead has been sent to create a new lead please delete this one now let's go back to our public connect account and check whether we have received our response or not and as you can see over here we have successfully received our response the first name is smart the last name is user email address is smartuser@pabliteuds.com and the phone number is this which means we have successfully set up our trigger application now my action application is going to be mail or light let's click on this and here we have to select an action event let's click on this and here you will find various action events but i'm simply going to select add or update subscriber in the group let's select this after that click on connect and now to connect our mailer light classic account with our public connect account we need to set up a connection for that i'm simply going to select add new connection but if you have an existing connection please select existing connection and now to add a new connection we have to enter the api key and here it says log into the mailer light account click on your profile picture on the right top side and select integrations from the drop down menu so let me take you to my mailer light account as i've already logged into that and here you will find integrations and here in integration you will find mailer light api and here click on use and these are the apis which are already generated so now here i'm going to generate a new token let's click on this and we have to enter the token name so let's see our token name would be dummy key and here we have to agree on this i have read and understood the api token requirements set out in the terms of use and after that click on create token and this is the token which we have created now copy this token from here or else you can download this api token from here now let's go back to our public connect account and paste it over here and after that click on save and we have successfully connected our mailer light classic account with our public connect account now moving ahead we have to select group id let's click on this and as you can see over here in subscribers there are the groups which i have created and i want to add a subscriber in my product deals good so i am going to select product deals over here and after that we need to enter all these details over here email first name last name phone number city country and for that i am going to use a method called as mapping basically mapping means to insert the data from the previous steps so let's click on this and map all these details email address is smartuser@pabliteuds.com the first name is smart uh, the last name is user and the phone number is this so the company country city state and the zip is not required so i'm leaving it empty over here but if you want to enter all these details so you can do that after that click on save and send test request and as you can see over here we have received a positive response let's go to our mailer light account and check whether we have added a subscriber or not let's refresh this page once and as you can see we have added one subscriber and it's six subscribers now let's go to all subscribers and check and we have successfully added a subscriber over here named as smartuser@pabletudes.com and now let's go to our lead ads testing tool and check this automation in real time now in order to create a new lead we need to delete our existing lead and for that i'm simply going to click on delete lead and it says your lead has been deleted now i'm going to refresh this page once which is a necessary step and after that select page in the form name again click on preview and enter the details again click on next and then submit and our lead has been sent let's go to our mailer light account refresh this once and we have added another subscriber over here 
as current user which means we have successfully connected our facebook lead ads account with our mailer lite account now let's go back to our public connect account we have successfully set up our trigger and action application and it was a successful workflow so let's summarize this quickly yama trigger application is facebook lead ads and my trigger event is new lead instant yama action application is mailer lite classic and my action event is add or update subscriber in the group and if you also want to add subscriber in your mailer lite account whenever a new lead is received through facebook lead ads then simply follow this two step workflow hope this video was a helpful one thanks for watching Not only these applications, but you can also integrate many other applications with the help of Public Connect. If you have any doubt, please reach out to us at support at the rate public dot com. If you want to ask any queries, please reach out to us at forum dot public dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, please reach out to us at this website. If you find this video helpful in any way, please do not forget to share this video with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automations.